Greetings to our Denton ISD families, faculty, and staff. I come to you today to talk to you about the upcoming 2020-2021 school year and what our planning is, is uh, at the current time. Um, as you well know, the health situation across our country is changing daily and information is uh, just as, just as um, reliable as it is one day to the next. So I just want you to know I appreciate your patience, your flexibility, your grace, and your understanding as we work through this together. But I wanted to bring you um, a couple of updates as we're working through our planning for the 2020 and 2021 school year. On June 23rd, we reviewed our survey data that we received from our families with our board of trustees. If you'd like to go listen to that meeting, it's on our website at www.dentonisd.org. And it's almost an hour's worth of conversations about what the school year might look like next year and the questions we're asking um, each other in preparation and in our planning. In addition to that, that very same afternoon, the Texas Education Agency provide limited guidance on what the school funding situation would be like as we're designing our plans for what school will um, ultimately be for 2020-2021 school year. We were hoping to get a little more guidance from the health perspective um, with regard to social distancing and masks and hand washing and those kinds of items. However, that did not come from that guidance and we're waiting for additional um, guidance as we move forward. So we will continue to work with our local health officials to determine what is best and what is safe for both of our employees and our students as we come through the school year. In reviewing the survey data, we learned quite a bit of, quite a bit of information. The one thing we took, we took to grant for, uh, for sure that we learned was that um, our families really want our students to be back face to face with our teachers in our classrooms. Um, and there's no question that's the best learning environment for our students. And so you can be assured that we're going to do everything we can to make sure we can have our students back face to face. In addition to that, we are going to be offering a connected learning um, choice for our families who maybe um, have health sensitivity or vulnerabilities with their students at home or have um, actual parents at home or grandparents who are vulnerable and you're not real sure if you want to send your, your students into large groups within our campuses, even with our safety protocols. That connected learning platform will be designed and taught by a separate group of teachers who are trained and, and ready to offer a high quality, robust um, online education and those teachers will be dedicated to that platform. In our face-to-face -face learning, we will have our, our normal teachers with also some um, enhanced training um, should we need to move to remote learning if our school year were to close and we were to miss some days. So in our face-to-face -face environment, we plan on moving forward with the school year as you are mostly used to. However, there will be some safety precautions in there. Um, the only safety precaution that everyone really was agreeable upon was making sure that we were sanitary and we're hand washing um, and that everyone really paid attention to washing their hands daily, not touching their face, the things that we've all been hearing about in the news media lately. Um, however, there may be additional uh, safety requirements that are necessary in order for us to have face-to-face -face learning. So the question that I ask as we, that I've asked our team and I ask our community and parents is, um, almost 80% of our families want to go back face-to-face -face learning and about the same amount um, are against um, learning online in a connected learning environment. So what that says to us is, what are we willing to do to have face-to-face -face learning take place in our classrooms? What safety precautions are we all willing to participate in so that our kids can learn in the best learning environment possible? Is it that all of our employees wear masks? That could be a possibility. And, and frankly, if we were having school right now, we would for sure be there. Would it be that our students wear masks? Um, if we were having school right now, that would most likely be um, a requirement to enter our buildings that you wear a mask. Of course, we're not talking about younger, smaller children. Um, as the CDC has said, that's not necessary for children um, in the six to seven year old age range and below. However, whatever we have to do um, to, to create a safe face-to-face -face learning environment, our school district is to make that happen. Um, when we, with regard to face-to-face -face learning, should we have the opportunity or the need uh, to shutter schools or close schools for a, for a period of time, our teachers will be trained to shift to a remote learning platform, one that would, would be able to, to go at a flip of a switch, it would be very much high quality and very robust, um, and it would look much like our normal day-to-day -day school looks like. There would be support for our parents, 
Um, logins for our parents would be very simple. We would not have multiple logins as we had to during the last um, part of the school year. And it would really be a different environment from what you saw during the last nine weeks of the 1920 school year. Um, a much more um, accountable environment, uh, an, ass an assessment, a high expectation environment. So, so we're prepared to do that. Please know that if, if we, when we go to our face-to-face -face learning options, um, if we transition to, to a remote learning environment, it will not be like the connected learning environment. Connected learning is designed strictly for online learning all year long. Um, our face-to-face -face remote learning environment will be very similar to if your child missed school for a period of days in years past and you sent to school to get work and we would send that work home. The only difference is all of us would be, lear would be learning in that fashion and our teachers would be sending, sending things back and forth in a digital format um, and with additional training and the different tools that we're using um, as of this summer. So just know that there's some differences in those two things and there'll be more details to come, on, to come out about that as, we, as the summer progresses. Um, in, Ju in July, um, our SNAP codes will go out via InfoSnap. And when the SNAP codes go out via InfoSnap, um, I believe that will go out July the 8th. Um, you will have the option to check a box if you're interested in the Connected Learning Online Academy um, sort of delivery. And that is not a commitment that you are, that you are uh, signing up for that. What that does is give us an idea of what we need to plan for so we know how many teachers to assign to those areas. In addition to that, there will be informational um, sessions for you to gain more information so that even if you do select that that's your option, um, once you learn more and you learn the requirements and expectations, that may not be um, the best environment for you. So we will educate you along the way and provide you opportunity to learn more about what that means. Um, and, of, and of course, um, that might be an application process. And I say application, not from the standpoint of you get selected or don't get selected, but more of the standpoint of an agreement of what the expectations are, you know, webcam usage and microphone usage and what the software requirements are and the Wi-Fi connectivity. Those kinds of things are extremely important that everyone be on the same page as we work through a connected learning platform. Um, again, there's a lot of information that's going to be coming out during the month of July. Um, our intention, and please know that our intention is the uh, just as, as reliable as the, the information we receive on a daily basis, but our intention is to uh, have school start regular face-to-face -face on August the 12th uh, for majority of our students. For those families that identify um, that the connected learning platform is the best platform for you, um, we will be ready to support you in that way. Um, and regardless your reasoning for needing connected learning, we will support you in that endeavor from a health and safety perspective. And we really appreciate your grace, your kindness, your understanding. And our team is really working hard this summer um, on a very fluid situation with very limited information on what the 2019, uh, 2000 20 school year looked like and what the 2020-2021 school year needs to look like. So thank you for your time. Um, we appreciate you. And as always, Denton ISD delivers.